Yeah, welcome to the dojo, baby, man. Had no fear, Taekwondo is here, man. You know what's going on. So y'all see we got our favorite demon again. One of our main demons. Every time we watch one of these videos where she go on a date with one of these guys, bruh, she, she is it's like a battle for power no matter what. No matter what, bro. So we finna see how this dude is his name A12 funny. We finna see how he sparred up against the demon. If his power level was high enough where he one shot her, did his shield get cracked? Did he, did he die to fall damage or storm damage? Or did he fight this demon back? So And if you don't even know what I'm talking about, welcome to the dojo, my boy. Cause listen, sending him on a one way trip to Dooney Land in the back of the Dooney van straight to the gulag. But you, you if you don't know what that means, you got a long way in the dojo, my boy. Bro, the last thing I linked was giving me head while messaging her man, multitasking at its finest. Oh, whoa, it's giving whoa, me head whoa. while messaging her man, multitasking at its finest. Giving me head while texting her man. Fire for that! Fire for that! And that's the first three seconds, bro. Five seconds. That's the first five seconds. Oh, I missed that part. That's crazy. That's crazy. What she was saying to her man, though. What could she be saying? Oh, the hot dogs here are amazing. Oh, I'm at, I'm at a glizzy eating contest. Like, what could she say to her man, bro? I'm about to, bro, I'm only FaceTiming girls from now on out. I don't want to text at all. That's why I be telling y'all, stop texting girls. Stop DMing them, bro. You all texting her and DMing her and somebody's in her guts. I'm not texting no more. DMs, dating apps, I don't have time for that. I don't believe you should kiss a lot of frogs to find a what, what power level y'all give Cheyenne, bro? Is it, is it Cheyenne, baby? <laughs> Or is it is just a regular demon chat? What y'all think? Chat, she top 15 in Dooney Land or no? I believe in grilling them. I'm going to be going on a series Definitely of dates to find 15. who can top really 50. wow me. Top, top 50, this maybe. is grilling. Maybe. maybe. Out of all the demons we have. One is A1 too funny. You get me six or five somewhere. Side quest or no? Is this a side quest or XP glitch? Humorous and that. Man, it's here today. You get me? Little day and I'm going to see how it goes. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Man's ready for grilling still. Trust me, I came prepared. Nope. Man's not nervous one bit. You get me? Confidence levels up here, everybody. Man's ready. You get me, yeah? I've never seen somebody make such a perfect angle with their arm in my life, bro. I never seen that before. Then he's lagging. Somebody plugging, somebody restart the internet or something. Somebody plugging his ethernet cord. Why is he lagging IRL? Why is the game glitching? They didn't patch this in the last update. Why is the game glitching, bro? What's up? Eat my whole functioning? Nope. Man's not nervous one bit. You get me? Confidence levels up here, everybody. Man's ready. You get me? Yeah, let's get. He said, ready. It started, everybody. Bro. They got fancy couches now? Or maybe they always had this. I don't even be paying attention, bro. Chat, she look. Chat, I'm not even finna lie to y'all, bro. I told y'all it's not limping if she doesn't know. That's the limp's biggest problem. They always limp in her DMs and her message. Stop it. Bro, she could look good. She could be the baddest. She could be the baddest girl in the world in your eyes. But it's not limping if she doesn't know. Chat, this might be the best night we ever seen her. She got the, the laced up heels. The hoops. Chat. All the OGs know how I feel about the hoops. The bigger the hoops, the bigger the... Y'all know. No, no, we not shaming nobody because I love hoops. I love hoops. It's just a saying. I don't make the rules. I break the rules. But listen. <clears throat> Chad, she threw that shit on. Hi. You mean? You all right, yeah? What's your name? She threw that shit on. Uh, A1. What's, What's your name? like, government name? 
My government name. Wow. Well, she acting crazy, crazy like, already. It's crazy. crazy. Because as you progress through the day, you can. Ask you what's your name. <coughs> yeah, no, not just now, right now. But Do you want to know my name? Yeah, yeah, ask you. Cheyenne. That's a very nice name. She's lovely still. She's sophisticated. She's very mature, you know what I mean? She's chilling still, I like her, man. She's yeah, very aesthetically pleasing. Bro, you spoke to her in eight seconds. He got like, he got like five different analysis, bro. I must say, so, you know what I mean? Everything's going great. Check, that must be the X-ray vision mod. He, he must got a DLC or something. Mate, you know what I mean? He must Thank got an X-ray perk or something. What, as in like abbreviation? So I'm quite confident, do you not think? <laughs> nah, you are still like, you came with a suit and that, you're looking very, you know what I mean, formal. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're looking nice actually. Yeah. We'll choose to that, you're not Are in a tracksuit. That's what I'm saying. Like, See, I most studied. men. I studied, didn't it? The man who came in tracksuit. Why is she talking shit against David Bummy though? Why is she on his dick? And the other boy Ty. Why is she mad at the tracksuits? Alright, second of all though, is she limping in 4K? Is, is she, is she, is her ego coming down? Because he got, he got her a little down bad right now. He, he got her a little down bad right now. She giving out compliments. She let him not give her her name and offered hers. And he come. And he not limping. So I said, no, I'm going to come looking, you know what I mean, like nice. decent. He oh said, my God, me. there's a guy that's not in a tracksuit. I feel like he needs to win. <laughs> How tall are you? Six foot five. Bit of you. Yes. That's why I'm five five. I feel like wow. it's a, a that's good a whole subway difference. <laughs> Yeah, a whole subway. That's crazy. That's crazy. So would you say you're like really funny? Five dollar for I wouldn't say I'm long. funny. I'd say I'm subway. That's crazy. That's crazy. So would you say you're like really funny? I wouldn't say I'm funny. I'd say I'm hilarious. Um, uh, make me laugh then. Make me make you laugh. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, chat is he about to sell? Is 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 the Dooney Demon about to pull up a reverse card? I think that she's about to finesse this back where she got the power. It, that's what it's looking like, bro. It's, it sounds like we, she about to enforce her, her dominance. Yeah, I'm hilarious. Um, uh, make me laugh then. Make, me, make you laugh. Mm -hmm. Wow, you put me on the spot there, still. It's not funny like, then. You can't just say, like, hey, you'll make me laugh and that. Like, you get, it's got, you got warm into it, you know what I mean? He said he's funny. Why is he not making me laugh? Yeah. What's like the wildest thing you've done? In terms of what? In, one co in what? So context? take it anywhere you want. Or sexually. Wow, I see, I knew it was coming <laughs> still. See, I knew this one was coming and that. You see, I was bare sus. Pressure. And that, you get me? She was bare trying to ask me about jeetings and them things there. So, you get, I just had to err, eh, 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 reverse and slow down. You get what I'm trying to say? But, hey, so I'm saying she got to wait to the late. Chat, which character is this? <laughs> which, which, which DLCs did he buy to the game? Which, which, which add-ons did he upgrade to his player? He got the infinite time glitch. He could reverse time, chat. Chat, he got the re the rewind ability added to his player's abilities, bro. Which DLC did he got? A re 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 reverse. Bro, what, they need to patch this, bro. 1980s director's cut. If you want to know more information, you get. Oh, flipping it. I don't even know. Now, what about you? you? You answer the question first. What do I do for fun? Yeah. When you ask my question, mm. I realize I'm not that fun. I'm quite a homebody. I like to chill, spend time with my friends, and mm. just hang out at home. We'll go on like an activity date soon. Okay, where, where are you taking me? We'll go to the Alps, snowboarding. Would you take a date somewhere like that? Or are you just lying? No, 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 I'm not even lying. I really would. Snowboarding. Um, so where's the best place you've taken a date? Uh, Skiing and all that. Uh, I was in a relationship with Dubai, innit? But that wasn't really a date. Skiing, for really I'm a demon at skiing. So that's not that wild, though. That's a holiday. No, like I know, but like, no. what you done on the holiday? Yeah, you get that's what, what I'm trying to say. Do? On the dirt back in there and that. Uh, swam with dolphins. That was crazy still. Nice. Why are you here today? Do you know what? I'm just trying to find a nice guy. Oh, so? You know, a, a serious guy that knows how to handle a woman. You might have found the man you're looking for, do you know what I mean? Yeah, is, that, yeah. is that confident? Yeah, pinky finger up. Pinky oh, up. that's confidence there. <laughs> Nah, she's sucking him crazy. Like yourself, I, I ain't even gonna lie. What would you want to know? What's your type? Do you know what? I hate that question. But you know what he's doing really well, bro? That a lot of guys mess up when they, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as being masculine and mature and stuff like that, bro. It's like, <clears throat> he's, his energy is not all over the place. Like, he's not doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just, he coasting it along. He's been real calm and confident. But at the same time, like he not even he not even saying any pickup lines, any any super flirting. Like it's crazy. Like he's flirting without flirting. And that's that's the real good skill of flirting, where it's like you you don't want to make it too obvious, like you're doing too much, you're coming off as too aggressive. Like he's just being real chill, real calm, and the vibe is there. 
Like, she don't feel like he's being boring right now. He's just being calm. Like, he's chilling. Question, you know because it sounds so, like, cliche, but my yeah. type is actually funny. That's what I was like. Oh, you know. wow. Yeah, my type That's is funny. <laughs> happens to be in my name. Cool, <laughs> blimey. Yeah, but you've actually got to be funny, though. Wow, that's crazy. No, as, as I said, as we progress up, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, I'll expose more of my um, hilarious side. Right now, it's just a bit reserved, yeah. you know what I mean? I like substance as well. I feel like you can be funny and you can have the chat, but if you've got nothing to offer, exactly. then it's... A he might get her a highest rate. I'm going to be honest. Low key. It's, it's 27 minutes to go, so you never know how he could sell this bag. Like, you yeah. need to have a brain, you know? Exactly, that's true. And <coughs> funny enough, I'm actually quite brainy, I would try and say. Actually. Yeah? Yeah, I've done mechanical engineering. Nice. Before, like, comedy, I wanted to do... I wanted oh, to another do. thing you want to peep, bro? Niggas going to hear how much I pause it. Another thing you want to peep, like, he, he kind of like non-reactive. Like, he's responding, but he doesn't react a lot. Like, he's not like, <laughs> like super clowny and just, oh, wow, like, yeah. He's serious. It shows, like, he, he just keeps his composure. Chat, that might be the title of this video or something like that. Like, like being cool, calm, composed, and confident. Or something. It might be something to do with those key words, bro, because that's what I'm really seeing from him. And then, like I said, bro, you always want to be chill. You always want to play it to your personality. Like you, but regardless of how your personality is, bro, you can still be mature, no matter what. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's being childish and like having too much energy. Like even when Kai is playful and he has a lot of energy, he's not childish. He's just had. He just is excited. Like you know what I'm saying? He's, he just has high energy, like very good lit energy. Like kind of like he took an energy drink or something. But it's not childish. The timing can make it childish. You know what I'm saying? Like right now they on a one-on-one -on -one date. It's just them two. They serious. There's no plan involved. A conversation. They being real mature right now. Yeah, like F1 and that. Really? You know, Lewis Hamilton and all them things there. Yeah. So. That's time and a place for everything. What would you say is the best thing you offer a woman? Security, affection, joy. Uh, yeah. What do you bring to the table? I bring a lot actually. Yeah. I think I bring. Chat, chat. He might act. Chat. He low key is getting her power level. He. X, X, square, triangle, up, up, down, left, right. Bro, listen. He getting her a little bit. Before he could, before he allowed her to continue to control the date, he took it right back. Not, he didn't even raise his voice or yell at her or nothing like that, but he, he like interrupted her in a calm way, bro. What would you say is the best thing you offer a woman? Security, affection, joy. Uh, what yeah. do you bring? She's just about to, she about to keep talking, right? He, he, what do you bring? Brought it right back, a neutral. So it's no, it's not really like nobody ego taking over, or nobody controlling it. He keeping it real neutral. He keeping the ground real, like you know, what I'm saying how it should be though. Just a regular, I bring a you know, lot, saying? actually. Yeah. I think I bring a lot of compassion. Yeah. I love honesty because mm -hmm. I feel like people miss that out, and I feel like that's a big thing. Also, yeah, communication. That's key still. Yeah, so I'd say like they're the main things that I would lead, lead with, but I also just bring myself, and it's not as in like this city girl lifestyle where it's like i do this and Thank i do that you. like nah, that, you know. i'm so happy you said that still don't look happy, happy though no i am <laughs> smile on the inside, <laughs> yeah, on the inside what's a red flag for you what you just said actually so kind of like city girl movements do you yeah. know what i mean like immaturity describe to me what a city girl is to you i would say a city girl yeah is just like a girl that does anything for money that will like yeah but that's not like is that not a work ethic no but i'm saying anything for money like, they don't want to work like they, oh. do, they just want to go out finesse and sell them. So do you know what I mean? That's yeah. a city girl. Bring any girl around me, yeah, but just not a city girl, fam. Man, don't do all of this flipping. One of them tic tac personalities, sex and all of that nonsense. Yeah, yeah. One you of them little tic tacers, bruh. Marries, you get me? Like, One of the Dooney demons, bruh. Don't forget me, not now, really, but you lost finesses. Judging from your, well, firstly, I'd like to say that you're very aesthetically pleasing. Thank um, you. Yeah, you don't look like a city girl. As you look very sophisticated. Chad, if you gonna give a compliment, bro, I swear to God, if you gonna give a compliment, bro, hit her with a compliment that it, t it take her time and her brain to register. He said, "You're the most, you're the most finest queen in all the lands. You're the most beautiful princess, madame." He said, "You're aesthetically pleasing, pleasing." That's gonna take a second to hit her brain, bro. Like did, a chick ain't never heard that, bro. You sliding the good DMs. You're aesthetically pleasing. I'm telling you, you want her soul, bro. Create. Listen, I tell y'all about compliments, right? Compliments when, when talking to women and bagging them. I say you don't need to do it, right? 
but I tell y'all that there are guys who have game who use compliments. There's nothing wrong with that, right? I just personally don't use them. That's just my game. I just, I'm more on the intellectual side of things. Like I'll talk to her about, I just can flow a convo without complimenting a girl, right? But if you're going to do it, I say that your compliments matter more the more she likes you. So if you're just a random guy, she don't really like you, your compliment don't really hit the same as a guy that she likes. So it's really pointless to give her the compliment anyway. Because she's not really chasing your validation yet. She don't care if you like her yet. You kind of like just seem like a stranger. But, bro, to hit her with the aesthetically pleasing, bro, it just it's not the same as like kissing her ass. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so... So yeah. doesn't comment so what's your thoughts on comment. Exactly, like women if you if it's any comment again, like bro, that. aesthetically pleasing well, is the one, bro. That's that's there you go. That's if you look very sophisticated, so thank you. Yeah. So what's your thoughts on women that do have sex for money and stuff like that? Well, that's a dead thing, isn't it? Like no, no, not bashing them, you get me? Like you gotta make your bread and that, but that's your thing still. Not rating it. Nah, I don't know. But like do you is rate that, hustle though? Yeah, yeah, it's, but there's a big difference between hustling and prostitution. For me personally, that's just, that's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta just, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I'm gonna be honest, bro. This is, might be like, this is, is during a date, you might wanna change the topic off of this. You know what I'm saying? Cause she like, she like picking his brain. It, and it's just like, it's, it's like, she like, she looking for a red flag. Now he, he answering in a way that's calm and it's like he's showing who he is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, he's not judgmental. He just don't like those kind of women, right? But like you, you want to change the topic. Like it's like she's looking. Basically, the way it is, like she's looking to put him in the hot seat. Like basically, he's in the hot seat and she's looking for a red flag. That's a bad position to be in. Yeah, you get me. You're doing your thing, but I don't really. Do you know what I mean? So, what's your thoughts on the double standard in society? So, because you don't like the city girl lifestyle, but yeah. you know, men like to glorify that they're trapping and stuff like that. What's your thoughts on that? But that's why. If I'm not one of those men, there's nothing to talk about. You shut that down. Immediately, I, and then you could switch it in there, be smooth, assert assert a different topic. I want to get the I want to get to know more about you. You let her know, like all this, all these topics we talking about. Fuck that! I want to know about you. Put that pressure back on her, bring it back. She's gonna be like, oh, oh, okay. Like I don't care about none of that stuff. We talking about city girls, thugs, and how's this relevant to us? You see what I'm saying? It's life, isn't it? But that's what I'm trying to say. Like you see the actual city girls, like like regardless of what they're doing, man, rates like what they're doing is in the music side because they're just talking about what like they do on a day-to-day -day business isn't it no, that's what i'm saying though so like in comparison it's the same with trapping though like and all of them things there and it's like it's a you gotta do what you gotta do in the situation yes you can't not rate one and then be like oh actually it's fine they're trappers they're doing their thing so what about a woman that has that. no other option but to do something like but there's something wrong with that do you not think that's a double standard mm. then again this is what she said she liked though she did say she liked substance but this is just like this is almost like debating religion on a date. Like, it's, I feel like that's just too much for a first date. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we get the general information out the way first? Damn, can we? Can we like? You know what I'm saying? Like, we just we just straight into like this. Like, and it's and it's not even like it's relevant to who the person is. Let's say you're on a first date and you get deep about something. Let's say it's your passion, your ambition, your goals, what drives you in life. That's, that's letting me know you. That's more specific to you. We we having debates about society and my opinions and viewpoints on other people. That's not, that just doesn't feel appropriate for a date, in my opinion. She says she likes substance. I just feel like there's a better thing to talk about. And as the guy, here's what I'm saying. It's a bad thing. Because it's putting him in a position where he constantly is fighting to explain himself. Here's how I feel about this. I think this about that. So it's kind of like she's the judge on his mentality. Yeah, that could eventually come out, and that's important to know how another person thinks. But like, I just, I just, it's too fast to me. Like, it's too, six minutes into their date. Like, and all of them things there, and it's like, it's a, you gotta do what you gotta do in the situation. Yes, you can't not rate one and then be like, oh, actually, it's fine. They're trappers. They're doing their thing. So, what about a woman that has no other option but to do something like? But there's something wrong with that. Do you not think that's a double standard? Mm. Because it's worse, I think, as well. Sometimes when it comes to the trap lifestyle and things like that, like, there's a lot more lives ruined. So that's why I feel like if you're gonna have an attitude about one, then you need to have it for both. Okay. Or just be completely like Zen lifestyle and not be bothered. I said I don't rate what they like, the finesse and all of that, yeah. But regardless, it's still their thing, innit? Yeah. Same way that I rate the man, then that's rapping about trapping, that's rapping uh, about uh, uh, day to day life, even if it's bad and violent. 
once they skyrocket and they start to do their thing and that, I still rate it the same yeah. way. So. What are we trying to eat? At That's the end what I'm of the trying day. to say. We're, you know, trying, we're to eat. trying to eat. Like, everybody's got to eat. Huh? What do you eat? What do I eat? <laughs> <laughs> she really knew what she was doing when she said that, bro. Before here, yeah, I had that Caribbean. <laughs> Remember when I told you I was going to have Caribbean? So, do you eat meat? Do I eat meat? Yeah, yeah. no yeah. homo. What do you mean? No, no, that just sounds a bit funny still. What? Do you eat meat? No, like, yeah, the way you, No, because, like, what? Like the way you're squinting at me and that you're very trying to like say it in a different type of context. What? What context? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You're trying to draw me out. She's playing dumb, bro. She trying to, bro. But she about to get this man cancelled, bro. She about to get this man cancelled. Like saying it in a different what type of context. What? What context? Nah, nah. I mean, he, low key, he could have took it both ways. The, the eat meat part could have been a no homo, or the eat meat, the eat meat part could have been like a, like like her. Like I don't know. I don't know that quickly moment I would have said no homo. I'd have just like I'd have just looked at her like what? Like that's why sometimes the best thing to say is nothing. I'd have just looked at her like, bro, I'm telling you, I gotta start learning to look at people like they got ten heads, six arms and, and five legs, bro. Really just look at people like somebody say something dumb, looking at them like they just look at them like they say something dumb. Uh, you're trying to do it. Less is more. Always say less than necessary. Y'all know that law of power. Dead. <laughs> no, but yeah, I eat meat though, yeah. So actually, would you say you eat pussy? See? See, bro? The woman I'm mad. See? That's why I said I probably wouldn't have said no homo because it could have went both ways. She was either talking about her or she's like some sus shit. So, you mean? Context. Uh, nah, nah, nah. You're trying to do I miss what you said. <laughs> no, but yeah, I eat meat though, yeah. So actually, would you say you eat pussy? <laughs> The woman I marry, that I get on one knee to, that's the only woman I'm both kind. So have you done it before? Yeah, I've done it before, because I was but in a you, relationship. You're not married to, are you? No, but I thought I was going to be married to the woman that, that I was very close to marrying her. Not. So you've only done it once in your life? What, are you talking about as in one single time or with one person? Yeah, one single time. No, obviously I've done it more than one time, innit? But I was in a long-term relationship. But until now, the woman that man marries, marries. Until the day that man gets on one knee, and really slides that ring on that and that, yeah, that's when I'm going Why is it such an issue? Why, why, do, why does everyone get so mad at that question? No, nah, it's not even mad, it's just preference, isn't it? Like, yeah, but it's why a, does for everyone me, get triggered? Self, huh? Why does everyone get triggered by it? Oh, I'm not triggered. I'm perfectly calm right really? now. Really? Yeah, perfectly calm. I'm fantastic, you know what I mean? Obviously, she's asking man if man eats the non- Bro, that projection shit, bro. I hate when people do that, bro. Y'all see them do it all the time. Are you, why, why are you nervous? You sound nervous. Are you nervous? Are you this, is that? Why are you mad? Why are you the- I'm cool. You asked me a question. Yeah, you shaking. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, why does that even matter? It, what if I was? What if I was nervous? What if I was shaking? What if I was like? It's it's not about if you are. That's not the problem. The problem is that they have to acknowledge it, and they want to say it to you. So it, it like it's it's a pop, bro. It's a, a power thing. Like I got you nervous. I got you shaking. I made you mad. I, I shifted your emotion. I did that. You know what I mean? It's a test. Exactly, it's a test. I did that. I knocked you off of your pivot. I do something or I am something that knocks you off of your pivot. That keeps you out of your cool, calm, and collected frame. Funny nons and that, but obviously you get me like, you gotta wait till marriage. That's what I'm trying to say. These girls and that, they're all thinking all these men, what man's gonna be out here? Just, yeah, 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 man, he's pussy and that. No, <laughs> go wait until marriage. One knee. I feel like it's a lot of things like men don't do. Like yeah, but it's like, such a taboo subject. Like men yeah. don't even talk about it because it's like culturally this and that. Like you know what I mean? Like, you, not, like, you know she she only chat. You know what? Women only do it to like I'm not. Let's not even make this about all women. Let's just look at her, right? Let's just take a talk about her because we've seen this with our own eyes. She only does it to the nonchalant men. They only do it, and I was, I was about to say all women, because they try to do that. The, the girl on the Melly Benaco show tried to do it to me. You sound nervous. Or, or they try to do it to Jack Harlow. They only do it to confident men. Like you know what I'm saying, like I just I just noticed that. Like they only do it to like she she did it to David Bummy because David Bummy remember him? He was like slouched in his chair like this, like real laid back. He did not a single care in the world. Not a single care in the world. She said something about, you sound nervous. He's like, not nervous. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she did that to him, and then she did that to this guy. They only do it to, to men who are the calmest and the most secure. 
We ain't never seen him do it to an actual nervous guy. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a key thing to little notice. Like if somebody points out something about you, oh, you seem nervous. You seem scared. You seem. Guess it's a test, bro. Isn't your woman? It's a test. Yeah, exactly. But I ain't got my woman yet, so who am I pleasing? But do you like your dick sucks? Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you probably like yours, but for to do it to a woman, it's an issue. Yeah, but I'm not forcing no one to to, to suck my dingling. You get me? So if a girl says to me, yeah, oh. I'm not gonna suck. I'm not gonna suck your willy in that, yeah, because you're not gonna burk at man. I'll he could have stopped right there. He could have stopped right there. He had a good point. Yeah, but I'm not forcing anything like that. Be like cool. Nah, I'm not pressed. Yeah, then no I'm one has me. sex. It's just a sexless marriage because we're both being petty. Oh no, no. I'm not talking about marriage. I'm just talking about like right now, like if man was just out here and that. But I'm saying when it comes to marriage, oh yeah, obviously all the floodgates are open and that. You get me? But until then, no, that's something special that you, you know, what I mean, that's for your missus. You get me? Okay. Yeah. So do you suck dick then? Do I look like I suck dick? Um, yeah, yeah, you do still. Like, do you know, right now, yeah, like, this is a compliment, by the way. You this, bro, this is why I'm telling you, less is always more, bro. I mean, it's about to be funny, right? I'm just let like the clip, look. Like, like one of them, but like, that is not a compliment saying to someone, no, 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 you no, look no, like wait, you wait, suck wait, dick. Let me land, I didn't even finish, hold on. Like, what you look like right now is one of them, like, one of them, like, sexy, like, teacher porn stars and that. You know, you know them ones there, and they're, like, they're like, oh my god, like. Where's your homework? You know, and what's that? No, Percy, that's fucked up. Wait, 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 hold on a minute. <laughs> no, this shit was funny, though. <laughs> well, before I even get serious again, that shit was funny, bro. That shit was funny, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know, you know them ones then, and they're like, like, oh my god, like, where's your homework? You know, and what's that? <laughs> How did she not laugh, bro? I ain't even gonna lie. I was about to get serious, bro, but I like that shit was funny as hell, bro. That shit was funny as hell. Like, bro. Percy, that's fucked up. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a minute. But what I was gonna say, bro, is when when he said, right, he didn't even, like, you know, so this is why less is more, bro. Like, this is why you need to think before you talk. Because you it will allow you to slow down and not say nothing crazy. Like, he didn't have to say all of this, bro. When she said, dude, look like I suck dick. What does a dick sucker look like? I, like, if you would have slowed down for a second. See, he answered it because he just was answering it. But we really sit there and think about it. Like, what kind of question is that? Like, but guess what, chat? Here, I'm, I'm really about to put y'all on. It's crazy that we got to get serious after something so funny. I'm really about to put y'all on, bro. Bad questions lead to bad answers. So she don't like his answer, but you asked him a bad question. See now, now the now the problem is what he said. You asked him, you asked him the question. I'm t bro. That's what I'm telling y'all, bro. This why less is more. Why she going? You can't. What do you mean? Like she literally asked him, do it look like I said dick? And then he says yes. And then she says it's not a comment. It doesn't look like I said dick. You literally asked me, sis. You literally asked me five seconds ago. But now you're mad. You're mad that I said I gave you an answer to your question. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Bad questions give bad answers, but they're not gonna get. They're not gonna go back. She's not gonna go back and say, "Oh yeah, I asked a dumb question." She's not. They, they're never gonna say that. They might. Like, Why would you say that? You just asked me though. How would you catch that in the moment? It's easy to tell in retrospect. Here's how you catch shit like that in the moment. I got you, bro. That was a good question. I wasn't even doing that from retrospect. Retrospect, I said that the last time. As soon as she said something, I was like, "That's all he had to say." That's all. I literally said that. Go back in the video. You rewind. Well, when it's on YouTube, I literally said that. I, I said that. I was like, "That's all he had to say." He should have stopped right there. I literally said it. And it, it's just remember though, in the moment, if you want to catch stuff like that, less is more, and just think about. Just think before you speak. That's all you got to do. All you have to do is think before you speak. Because if I would have thought before I spoke, right? Like I said, he answered it too fast. So she said, do it look like I suck dick? If I would have sat there and, and thought to myself, does it look like she sucked dick? I would have been like, wait a second. Like, you can't have that wait a second moment unless you think about what is going on. You have to think before you talk, bro. Like, what kind of question is that, bro? In what weird universe is it where saying to someone, you look like you suck dick is a compliment? He never said it was a compliment. Well, I mean, he might have. I forgot what he said, but 
He answered your question. I'm sorry, men. That is not a compliment. Now it's men. Bruh, you just... I don't, I don't like it when people watch porn. I find it so weird. No, I don't, I don't watch porn. Though. You just crazy, gave me bro. a really it's crazy no, scenario. I don't want that. Yeah. I've obviously, obviously I've All right, never mind. No, that's why I said I don't even remember. All right, if he said it's a compliment, then he's crazy. He's crazy. Watch porn in it, but I don't watch porn anymore. Yeah. Like. So that. Well, so don't blame us because he said it's a compliment. So I'm supposed to take you saying I look like I suck dick as a compliment? No, 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 no. Because it's just like right now, yeah, you look like. You're like one of them teachers. You know them so ones. You could there. just say I look nice instead of. No, but I already did. I told you you look aesthetically pleasing. But I'm just saying also, like. See now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. The Dooney Demon has used her reverse card. She knocked him off his pivot. He's now talk he's talking too much. He's defending himself. A bad position. It's a bad position. I'm pretty sure I got videos on Patreon about positioning and shit like that. But some this happens though. This happens. You could you could be folding or you could be selling a little bit, right? No man is perfect. Listen, but but no man is perfect. But the the more disciplined you are, and the more you stay in your frame, this this shouldn't happen. But sometimes, sometimes, right? As we seen with me, you might get two v one. The demons might try to team up against you and just try to turn it away and control it to this. You have to you have to recognize the situation you're in. You have to realize that you're selling. You have to realize that you're folding, and you have to make a like a a switch back. You know, what I'm you have to try to like get it back. That's how I, that's how I realized it. I'm like, yo, they trying to play with me for my age, or they trying to do this. So now I switch out of that. When I realized that they was trying to control the conversation and pressure me down, and then she listen. You go back to that Melly Monaco video with me. They asked another question. They said, "Are you a player?" I said, "Player." That's when I put my foot down. I said. What is what does that have to do with us being on a date now? You gotta it happens, bro. Sometimes the demons just get you in the corner, they just they just spam and attack powers, right? They just spamming you with, with attacks. It happens. But you have to recognize it and then pivot out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta like you gotta take a side step. It's boxing, you better get in the corner, side step out the corner, you know what I'm saying? Move. You mean? You look like one of them like in one of them role play things and that they like all them you know what I mean? Teachers and that. Where's your homework? Oh my god, how are you gonna pay me? Like all them things. Are. Teachers and that. Where's your homework? Oh my god, how are you gonna pay me? Like all them things. Are. He's crazy. If you're out, yeah. is it do women come on the table? Is it like yeah, Not get the girls? Not some any old women. Like selective women and that. Yeah. Like I let you on my table, 100 million percent. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Would you let me on your table? Don't know. No, I'm joking. Do you know you're yeah, in a comedy doing that? I was just testing you. But it's nice to know. Wait, no, wait, what did you Might have been my best saves ever. I don't ever. know yet. I'm like, if I'm out with the girls, I'm out with the girls, no one's coming on our table. Oh, swear. Yeah, I'm, I'm that friend that will cock block everyone because wow. we're not here trying to get man tonight. You know? Yeah. I'm, I'm, no, you're in a comedy doing that. Your table. Hold on. Because I was eating the food that I just ordered. Hold on. She just took my whole appetite. Hold on. <sighs> What did she just say though? Hold on, I got, I got time today. I said it, say that one more time, sis. Hold on, what did you just say? I know I didn't just hear what I thought I just heard. I know I did not just hear what I thought I just heard. Hold on, let's go back. Don't I? On my table, 100 million percent. I got time. <laughs> Would you let me on your table? Don't I? No, I'm joking. I don't approach people's tables like that. Do you not? You're in a comedy doing that. I was just testing you. <laughs> but it's nice to know. Wait, no, wait, what did you say? You say yes or no? I said I don't know yet. Oh, I'm like, yeah. if I'm out with the girls, I'm out with the girls, no one's coming on our table. Oh, swear. Yeah, I'm, I'm that friend that will cock block everyone because wow. we're not here trying to get man tonight. You know? Wow. So you just dare to shake Bunda and have a great time? Yeah. <sighs> now, listen. I personally. I personally, out of any group of women I've approached by myself or with a group of guys, out of any group of women I've ever even approached, let's just go with that, or a harder situation. Out of any group of women I've approached by myself, three or more women, that has never happened. I'm blessed. I now see that I'm blessed. That 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 has never happened. But it's a certain way you want to approach a group of women. I always t I tell you, bro, if you want to approach a group of women, you have to address the entire crowd. If you just go straight for the one girl that you're trying to talk to, that's when the friends are going to cock block because they feel like they're not getting attention. They feel acknowledged. And then it's going to be like that little whisper in the ear kind of thing. 
know what I'm saying? So y'all say you say something like, "How y'all doing?" You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing today? Or blah, blah, blah. You address the whole crowd, then you focus on the girl that you want. You know what I'm saying? But regardless of the fact, imagine you trying to come and just, just be friendly with a group of girls. And she's talking. She's proud, though. She's proudly saying, I'm a cock block. I'm. Now, I told y'all, we don't condone violence. It's not. That's not what that means, what I just did. That's not condoning violence or supporting violence. That's just a joke in GTA. But, you know what I'm saying, might have to press square. Might have to press square on her, bro. Or give it, like I said, just give her one of the looks. Like she got ten heads or something. Like, listen, if she tried to cock block me, I'm talking to the girl. Also, you need to read You need to read the home girl. So, like, let's say the girl that you're talking to is showing that she likes to talk to you, but her friend tries to jump in. You gotta make the friend the oddball now. Or, or you can include the friend. It's two routes. You can include the friend and make it a friendly thing and try to diffuse her aggression. Or, you make her the oddball. Is this your boyfriend or something? The whole time you notice her, her friend. Is this your boyfriend? Why is she trying to like, what's up? Like, what's she? Because if I'm doing something wrong, then you, then, you, then you take the victim route. I mean, if I'm bothering y'all, you know what I'm saying? I, I just go. Then I switch it. Oh, no, 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 you're not bothering us. No, you're fine. You're fine. Now it's a battle between the, the, the Jones. So like I said, now you don't want to say this your guard dog. You don't want to make it disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? You want to you want to be humble about it, so that the girl will defend you against her friend. You know what I'm saying? But that's one route. Like I said, y'all could just include the friend. How you doing today? What's your name? I don't mean to bother y'all. You know what I'm saying I just want to talk to your own girl. Quick. Y'all having a girls' night out? Like you got the humble guy approach. You got the the the, the calm, prince charming. You could do that. It just depends how you feel. You feel like being a menace or you feel like being a good guy. Yeah, What's up to you, bro? Awesome oh, no. Cock block is like crazy. Kind of Cock block is crazy, bro. I rate that. Have you ever liked to have sex? Um. What? Yes. I rate that. Shake my arse in clubs. Wow. So you just dare to shake bunda and have a great time? Yeah, I don't really shake my arse in clubs. Why not? Because I just don't like that kind of attention. I rate that. Have you ever liked to have sex? Have you ever lied to have sex? I thought she hasn't do you like to have sex. Um. Yes. Oh, actually, yeah. When I was young, yeah, because obviously I, I look I look a bit older than my actual age, and so obviously when I was mad young, I was a lot about my age and that to hear. You know what I mean? So How old was the female? Twenty-six. How old was you? Eighteen. How old did you say you were? Smart guy. Smart guy. Smart guy. Smart guy. I said I was like what? I must have said I was like. I rounded it up to the nearest decimal point. So I said I was like 25, something like that. How the way, how the How the hell is 25 nearest decimal point 25 from 18? How can you go like 18 to 25? Cause like, did you get me? Like I was tall, this and that, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you well, need I'm to still. have a level of maturity to like, if you're a woman. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Would you not say I'm mature? So was you successful? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah obviously, yeah. Have you ever cheated? Never in my life. Never, never cheated? cheated? Never. I've been cheated on, but I never cheated. Yeah, that's a bit shit with mandem. Tell y'all ever, you ever cheated on a girl for it? Be real. Rated or not? <laughs> or are you that friend that's like got to do the shop run? Just curious. I've never run the shops for nobody still. Yeah, I'd say I'm rated still. He definitely thinks he's the man. I don't. Or not? <laughs> or are you that? But ego is so quick to point out another ego, bro. A friend that's like got to do the shop run? Just curious. I've never run the shops for nobody still. Yeah, I'd say I'm rated still. He definitely thinks he's the man. I don't put myself any higher than all that. Like, any of my, like, my guys and that, do you know what I mean? So like, there's no ego? No, nah, there's no ego. All of my team got What'd I say? You know what I mean? What'd I say? Like, like, if we're all walking together. What'd I say? The ego, I always point out the ego. And she literally said it. Give it down the street. Like, she mentioned she was talking about his ego. Be able to tell, oh, this is the boss or this is the guy. Yeah. Do you get we should all look like the guy, no matter if. One's famous, yeah. one ain't famous, one's got a bitch. You got know I me? Mean? Yeah, Power Rangers coming through. That's what I mean. We all got to be building that generational wealth. Hey, Mom, would you say you're emotionally available? What do you mean emotionally available? Firstly, are you in tune with your emotions? Are you uh, a good communicator with how you feel, or do you bottle it up? I think I'd like to say I am, but I don't know. Sometimes I keep stuff in and that. You yeah, I mean? but that's the problem. Like, but I that's think why I need you to solve my problem. You need me. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Am I your mum? Whoa, no. Cool, blimey, mate. <laughs> bro, we need, like, nobody, like, bro, what? 
she's like literally, bro. Like, bro, she get to make all the rules of this of this show. Say the wildest things ever. Ask the wildest questions. But when somebody else do it, it's a huge problem, and she gets to lower their score. She remind me like a, a e date or a, a virtual com competition or something like. All the powers and is just in the other person's hands. It's a date for both of us. I'm not earning you. It's for our date. I'm not fighting for my life like a job interview. I gotta like you too. You gotta like me. I gotta like you too. She just, bro. I'm just that like she just allowed to say the most boldest, wildest things, and the guy just be like, all right, whatever. But as soon as the guy, as soon as the guy say something wrong. Oh, it's not this because of that. Like, dang, sis. Like, we I, we can't make mistakes. We we both. Like, we... I, I, ain't, I ain't never seen nobody hold her to the standard that she holds the other guy. <laughs> Do you? Uh, yeah. 100 really? million percent. Why? Yeah. You can't go and wipe one girl that's just been... That's got bare, unnecessarily, like... High off mileage and that. Nah. What's, what's like mad body count? And why... I don't get why it's an issue. Nah, it's an issue, fam. It's definitely an issue. Like, you can't... What, so you're telling me that man's gonna go wife one girl that's got like, that's beat over like 500 men and that? No. Yeah, but it's bare soul what ties. if you had sex with like 500 women? That's a stretch. I'll never have sex with 500 women. Okay, as long as you keep the standard for yourself, then yeah, obviously. it's not an nah. issue. Energy sharing and all them, that's real. Nah, I don't know. Nah, that's dead. Wow. Drop the energy so you know. That's what I'm trying to say. Extra buddy. point for that. Extra point? Oh, yeah, because wow. you know about energy exchange. Oh, I can see your demeanor change when um, I said that word, so yeah. that's a good point. Yeah. All right. Yeah, 100 million percent. Definitely. Are definitely. you though? Yeah, I am, 100 million percent. What's family time to you? Spending time with them, spending time with my brother, my mom, dad. You know what I mean? Go get something to eat and that. Uh, take my brother out, go to cinema or something. You know what I mean? okay. I'm the older sibling, so. Oh, okay, so you've got the responsibility. Young. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, want yeah. kids? How many kids do you want? Hey, she has the power right now. But here's why it's, it's good that he's staying mature and real composed and real calm and collected. Because even though she got the power and she damn near controlling the whole thing, he just is like mostly unbothered about it. Like he's like folding, but he's not folding because he's just like he's just talking and the same thing. Like he's not really doing too much about it, so it's not that big of a deal. I only want one child. Not fighting for his life. Yeah. Why? Because basically, yeah, because I'm the older sibling, yeah, like, and my brother's what? How old is this guy again? Like 12. Did you just say you're a family man? You don't know how old your brother is? No, nah, I always get... I always like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. It's always very confusing than that. Do you know what I mean? Because look, like, he's 12 years old and he's nearly 6 foot. His yeah. size 9 feet. They're growing. Oh, exactly. That's a W excuse. I can't be the only sibling that don't remember all my siblings' ages. I swear to God, it can't just be me, bro. So it's kind of hard. Sometimes I think he's older than man. He's got a little bit of like special needs in it. Do you know what I mean? Aww. Yeah, so like... I've basically had to be like a parent, the third parent, like from the, like from the day he was born in it. So I've had to be very mature and like wipe his ass and that, Aww. burp him and that. So you, I already feel like I've had a youth, you know what I mean? Aww. So it's like, I was a burp in my <laughs> life. And then so you ready? So what, you're going to have like hot boy summer? Uh, you want to enjoy that's life? Def definitely not what I said. Oh, but actually, why am I capping, boy? No, I'm having a hot boy summer, re boy. Definitely How did she just get to hot boy summer from that? And that. So you, I already feel like I've had a youth, you know what I mean? So it's like, I only need to enjoy my life and then have ready? So what, you're going to have like hot boy summer? Uh, or is he trying to enjoy his life? And she implied that he's going to want to have a hot boy summer. You want to enjoy That's life? Def definitely not what I said. Oh, but actually, why am I cap? Listen, he almost folded to the ego and the power. He got it back and blood man said, fuck that. Nah, no, I ain't pleasing you. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. Hot boy summer. Oh, uh, you want to enjoy life? Def definitely not what I said. Oh, but actually, why am I capping, boy? No, I'm having a hot boy summer re boy. No, yeah, yeah, I'm out here, boy. When I say I'm out, out here, here so yeah, okay, let me, let me, let me define. You were out doing here. really well until then. No, but when I say out here, I don't mean like that's that's. Oh my God, chat! I'm literally getting flash flashbacks from Melly Monaco, bro. If you're not new here, if this is not your first video seeing me, right? You know. You know that's her favorite line, bro. That, that bro, that's her, you hear that? I say that all the time. Oh, you were doing really well until when the power is in the position of the other person, right? Now, mind you, that's that could be a normal thing to say. 
you were doing really well. Like, I was liking you until you did that or said that. But here's the thing, though. By telling me I was doing really well until that, I'm still being myself. I'm me. So, like, I'm me. I'm not going to be well or bad or this or good or bad. I'm going to be me. So by saying, like, you were doing really well until that, it's like it's, it's like you're just, like, judging me in a sense. Like, I'm not good enough for you. Like, you were good, but then you did that, but then now I'm, like, disappointed in you. Who are you? Who who are you to be telling me I'm, I don't meet this? I don't want you that bad. I'm not, like I said, it's, it's not a job interview. That's what they would say the job interview. Oh yeah, you have okay, so you your availability is five days a week. Blah blah blah. Oh, no work experience. Ah, you don't have any work experience. You were doing good until then. Ah. Who are you, sis? This is a bro. Like, that doesn't have to Millie be Michael me flag, going and just whacking their BBL use. I mean flying now, going LA, going Cyprus, this and that, enjoying my life. Do you know what I mean? Like, What's your body count? My body count. Whoa, every, every reverse. <laughs> Fam, <laughs> you think I'm. <laughs> Chad, this guy's hilarious, bro, I swear. My boy. Every, every, every. I told you his character is too overpowered, bro. It's, we need this We need this DLC, chat. Or they might patch it in the next update. How can a nigga reverse time, bro? He got the infinite time glitch, bro. See, something he don't like, he reverse it. Ruh, 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 ruh. You mean? They go in Cyprus, this and that, enjoying my life. Do you know what I mean? Like, What's your body count? My body count. Whoa, every, every reverse. <laughs> Fam. It's funny because he went <laughs> and then cut it off. You think I'm telling any girl on the first day my body count, everybody? Dumb is stupid. That's a lot. No, nah, it's not a lot. It's just a if lot. you want to know that, that's for the second day. You get me? That's a Fuck a boy. Listen, he chat. He earned. He earned his W for that. He's standing his ground, bro. He really, he really doing his thing on his date, bro. But why she's gonna end up giving him lower points just because he's more, he's more like. like he doesn't care about doing anything that she might not like. He doesn't care about saying anything that she might not like. He just is, is honest and real. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Same. Obviously, let's say like. What was the question? Liking pics on Insta whilst in a relationship. Hey, y'all ever had a girl come to y'all and be like, "Why are you liking her pictures?" Bro, I wish, I wish, I wish, I, I boy, I boy, I wish, I wish. You trying to check me? Because I electronically double tapped a screen. Sis, that's your problem. I like the picture, scroll past it, and didn't even think twice. You the one that that, that, that care so much. I, it's not like I zoomed in 50 times on a picture and sent it to her DM and I'm just thirsty. I like the picture. I, boy. Imagine, bro, imagine getting mad that I liked a, another human being's photo on an, an electronic screen when I'm standing right in front of her or she's my girlfriend like it, it just the, 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 it just doesn't even equate bro that's a yes and no yeah same obviously let's say like you was in a relationship and that yeah and then there's one girl that's just burning up her backs and that who her like bro what bro fire for that Fire for that, bro. And then there's one gal that's just burning up her back. Boom, book. Boy, no way, boy. Boy, no way, boy. Boy, no way, boy. Send that to her. Like non increases right up in your face and that and man's liking that. Obviously that's you get me, that's you'll stay your out of boundaries. 
Yeah. But so if it's like your brethren and it's like the picture isn't mad, like in decent exposure and it's just like you're supporting their thing, yeah, it's calm. Do you know what I mean? If I'm with a guy and then he's liking a woman's only fan, like a picture, yeah. then you're going to just go, wow, you, I'm supporting her only fans, innit? Like, nah, but that's a stretch. That's what I mean. That's out of line. Like, oh, it is out of line. To, why would you need to like her only fans? Do you subscribe to anyone only fans? No. Rate my thing, bruv. Man said only <laughs> <laughs> bro, do I even know? I've never even been on that website, man. I find that's weird. That's <laughs> false. Bro, oh my god, finally somebody said it. Bro, if you ever pay for OnlyFans, bro, you you have crossed the line. There's no, like, that is like the Hall of Fame. That's like a Limp's starter badge. Paying for the OnlyFans, bro. Especially if she got clout. If she got clout in your pit. Fire for that. And listen, the OnlyFans to some of these girls be like $100, $50, $25 for this picture, three pictures, and $25, I'll I send you this. And never in my life have I paid for a woman OnlyFans. On my soul, I never paid for a woman OnlyFans. And I never will. I, bro, literally, here's why though. Just listen, just listen, here's why. If you have paid for OnlyFans, don't take it personal with me saying that. Here's why. I feel as though you should never pay for that shit. There's somebody hitting it for free. So you telling me there's a guy out here who has the real thing in front of him. The real physical thing. The real deal. And he's actually experiencing it for free. You're paying to watch another man hit? Let's say she got the regular OnlyFans where she just like pleases herself on there, right? Somebody still hit that, bro. She's not a virgin, bro. She's she has uh, at least one body. So you, guess what? The guy she's fucking is not paying for her OnlyFans. I would never pay to be a, a cameraman. That's what you become when you buy OnlyFans. You're now a cameraman. You just paid to be the camera. Somebody is literally experiencing that for free, bro. That's why I would never, even if I wanted to, even even if I clicked on a girl buy, I'm like, damn, her OnlyFans probably. Somebody out here in it for free. I can't do that. I would never. You just paid to be a spectator, bro. Ghost mode. Casper. Any nigga you ever pay for a girl OnlyFans, you're now, I'm calling you Casper, bro. You, you can walk through walls. Well, them and their subscriptions and that. <laughs> Like, have you ever done anything that's toxic? Have you ever been toxic? Oh, okay, cool. Like, when I was young and that, yeah, man's like, man's like, cool, brain mode and that, okay. like, dumb writing and that, and then just boom, like, like, just... So you're selfish? Just S out. No, I'm not selfish, because I don't do that often. I was when I was young. So like, you're, you're mature now, you're grown. Yeah, like... Don't you know get I mean? blowjobs. Oh. Mm, well... So you get a blowjob and bounce. Notice that, like, she keeps trying to label everything. Oh, you're selfish, you're this, you're that. Why are you trying to write me off? I'm telling you, I'm getting, I'm getting Melly Show flashbacks, because they went to Player... They went to like pimp and they were always trying to label everything. How about I just made an action or made a decision and that is that's free from labeling me. I just cause I get hit from the girl and don't return does not make me selfish. Maybe she didn't maybe she didn't even want me to return. Or she didn't ask me, or she didn't care if I did return or not. How am I selfish? You automatically trying to just label. Like, you always trying to like throw labels on everything. I know, you're growing. Yeah, like. Don't mm. get blowjobs. Oh. Mm. Well. So you get a blowjob and bounce. No. Old days. That was old days, yeah. No, no one ever takes accountability for their shit. Like, I will hold Big myself facts. accountable. And it's been, I don't like the crazy psycho girl label, because I feel like too many people glamorize that. But. Accountability. You, genuinely. Madam, are so well mannered and behaved. I love that. I love that. Your mindset is amazing. Now, I can't lie though. The mindset is making sense still. She's got morals. She's got a business mindset, very mature. She's sensible. Like, everything's making sense. I wouldn't even lie. Like, that's one good thing I can definitely say. Like, <laughs> you got a head screwed on. Well, no one's just psycho for no reason. Nah, like, do you have a psycho ex? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, 100 million percent. Is there? Reason. Nah, like, do you have a psycho ex? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, 100 million percent. Like, would she come for me if I dated you? Oh, yeah, actually, do you know what's mad? Yeah. She's psycho. What did you do to make her psycho? Nothing, bruv. She just sure? tapped. Listen, there's no such thing as a crazy ex without you taking accountability. He's definitely done something to make her crazy. 
Yeah, like it's just tapped for no reason. I, I, how I, convenient. I was just saying about the whole accountability thing. How convenient is his fault? No, 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 no. No one's tapped for no reason. No, but it's not even man. It's like there's been things that like. So have you done things to get her to this point where she's now moving mad? No, like it's things she's been through or like, do you know what I mean? Or, yeah, do you get like? I don't have time for that. Do you know what I mean? I'm too genuine. Like, and I just want to treat my missus good. Do you know what I mean? Bake off and that. Being bora bora and that. You get me? Yeah. Pina coladas <laughs> and that. You get me? Like, I'm just, I just want to have a good life. I don't really have time to be a dickhead. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's mine. Yeah. yeah. Would you? Mine. Every relationship I've been, no, they can't like, really? There's nothing to hide. What's like the lads group chat like? Oh, if the she lad ain't paying my bill, <laughs> she's not getting this password. The lads group chat is. Can I see it? Huh? Oh. <laughs> the GC is mudodo. Would you let me see it? To be honest, man can back it out right now. No, nah, but you've got, there's like, there's the one savage chat and then there's always one calm one. Yeah, see, look like. Oh, no, 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 do the. The what? Joey, you can see everything. Like, look, look, look. Uh, no, oh, you can see, like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, Give yeah. me that. Eh, 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 read no, no. Okay, look, just read that in it. I don't think that's that bad. What? What does it say? You should go and read out. Bro, the last thing I linked was giving me head while messaging her man, multitasking at its finest. I mean, like, he just took the biggest L of the video. He just took the biggest L of this entire video, bro. He gave her the guy's group chat. The guys group chat? Yeah, you and your homeboys, the click group chat? You betrayed the tightest bond ever. So I got group chats with me and my guys that been there for years. Like literally group chats that been there for years. We say it all the time. If this group chat gets leaked, we're all going to jail. <laughs> It's like, no, but on some real shit, bro, you don't give up the guy's group chat? Oh my god, 6 9 Takashi? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I missed that part. Is this how your friends are moving? Uh, this is guilty by association now, you know? Uh, like, how? Yeah. That's kind of bad. Guilty by association. But when her homegirl got 90,000 bodies, we supposed to just think that she's not like that, too. Or we're not supposed to do the guilty by association thing. I don't believe in judging anybody about who they hang around. But the way she was reading the message, I plainly didn't even read it. I just said, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, yeah, she can just read that. It's all seen brain and that head and that man's and yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so long, read, but did G check him about that though? Still, I don't I imagine see if you was the man. Where's the G check here? No, no. I, I see, I see it low. By who, me? That's no. definitely not me. I don't even say low. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, you didn't. Like, imagine you was that guy. And... Your friends are moving mad, though. Yeah, I know. So is she. That's so what did you say to your friend, then? I just, yeah, I was like, bro, like, like you got other you hoes in that, man. Go deal with them and that. Yeah, what? Man. Firstly, what? you can't call women hoes. No, 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 no. I'm not calling women hoes. I'm calling the hoes hoes. No, but what's a hoe? A hoe is a, a female that sleeps around with several men simultaneously and uh finesse it kind of ties in keyword is simultaneous but then men can do it yeah i know is but your friend at home? is yeah, your male friend at home yeah he is if your friends are like that yeah. the apple doesn't fall far from the tree he can do that because he's got more time on his hands than i do mm. like i genuinely don't have the time to be doing all of them things there like that's long mm. and i always think about like what i just said imagine if you was the guy and that that's just a long day for you yeah. boy do you know what i mean it's so you like, said that to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah i said that to him and I even G-checked the girl exactly. as well, fam. I was like, blood, ain't you got a man, fam? Like, nah, nah, it's all complicated, in that? Yeah, hey. it's dickhead moves still. There you go. No. One million percent. Yeah? Absolutely bang on. Mm. Because men say a lot about that, but then if you look at all the girls they like on Instagram, mm. they are the Instagram models. That was a generic statement. Secondly, um, from Instagram alone, um, of course, even Instagram being the algorithm that it has, it's always going to put out those women with BBL and the perfect figures and this and that. And thirdly, you can't tell somebody's personality from Instagram. So that. Bro, what, what just happened? Hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. It's doing that thing again, bro. 
Why does it disconnect my headset, bro? That shit is so weird. Hold on, chat. Bro, my PC be tweaking, bro. Hold on, chat. I can't even click the volume, bro. I can't even click the volume, bro. This shit be pissing me off, dog. I think it's back now, but damn. The program being the algorithm that I had is always going to put out those women with BBL and the perfect figures and this and that. And thirdly, you can't tell somebody's personality from Instagram. So that's why men is just going to be like, oh, what? Big backs, double tap that. Big boobs, double tap that. You get me? So. Is that how you move? Nope. You, you film? Yeah. You, you, bro, you said that quite confidently. The reason why I don't like up bare people's and especially Gyal's photo, yeah? Because. Everybody else can see that you liked it. That's embarrassing. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, I've got standards, boy. You've got, obviously, personality is number one. You've got to have a great personality, good morals, family person, mature, business mindset, and you've got to be godly. Appearance-wise now, so you just got to have pretty face, slim waist, and a big back. It's hard to find just normal <laughs> people with normal PC morals. Just, do you know what yeah. I mean? Because everyone's done at it. Everyone's moving mad. TCB exactly. and crazy. What say. So, well, what's your preference though? Um, personality. Because you want to grow older then. Exactly. Because yeah. the looks are going to fade away. Do you know what I mean? That's why I always say like, yeah. it's like, I always even told a man, it's like, bro, like, oh, we've all had the pengus gal and that, but bro, they're just dead personalities. Yeah. Do you get it? So it don't matter. Like, I don't care about pengus no more. Like, I really don't. The personality's got to be, it's got to be A1, do you know what I mean? That word Rico is pain. I'm like pain. What the fuck? What's your toxic trait? What do you mean? I know like, what that meant. I would say your toxic trait is not letting people in. Because you're quite guarded from your but past experiences. I wouldn't say that's toxic. I would say that's just like like a like a protection that like sort of barrier, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not that's not the barrier ain't gonna come up, but it's just me sussing you out first, understanding. I don't think, think that's necessarily mindset, toxic. Your morals and then yeah. You can proceed because man's not just gonna be like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got backs in that. So like everybody tonight, should protect them themselves. Just come and mess up the rascal nah, nah. <laughs> That's not happening. You can only protect yourself for for so long. I get it, but mm. there's times where you could just be so in your PTSD, like you're gonna miss out on so many opportunities with your life. That's you true. Know? But I wouldn't say I'm like mad into my PTSD. Like I'm still very relaxed and chilled. Like man, I'm conversing. But, you know I mean? but I know you're saying that. But for yeah. example, like if you've had someone cheat on your past, mm. so then your attitude with me, if I'm going out and I'm wearing something skimpy or you know skin like oh, whatever, that's mine, that's you're, you might that, start being a bit like nah, because nah, nah. you're PTSD. Nah, like you could look as peng as whatever, wear whatever you want. As long as you're stepping out with me. I know but what if cool. like I was just wearing something and I wanted to go out with the girls? Good. I trust you, innit? Like, are you talking about relationship? If it was a yeah, relationship? Yeah, like in general. I trust you, innit? It's calm. Okay. Yeah. Like, you represent man, I represent you. If you're yeah. going out looking peng, damn right. You get yeah, me, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's calm. Cool. Obviously, as long as you're not entertaining man, then wherever you're going and that, that's going to come up to you. Because you know, man, I'm going to be like, are you, are you missing that caramel sundae? You get me? <laughs> but as long as you're doing your thing, come and you get the... da, 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 and you come back home. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I ain't insecure like that. Like, you can do your thing. Shoot that shot. You just say you've got big dick energy. Uh, yeah, I can, you can say that still. Big dick as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got size 13 feet, so. That's sweet. I can, I can, you can say that. Bro, she allowed to ask him, do he got a big dick or not? But he says to her, bro, like, I'm telling y'all, bro, and I noticed this because we would have seen, like, four of her videos. She just could say whatever she want, bro. Oh, my soul. She get away with her saying whatever she want, bro. Nobody else get to say anything. She just called it right out yeah, to the yeah, boom. Yeah, you can say that still. Big dick as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got size 13 feet, so. That's me. That's got big feet. Sign. Yeah, but obviously, you know the. The what? <laughs> yeah, you get me. <laughs> I'm a nine <laughs> boy as well, so let me just throw that in. So. Yeah. What would you do if I have slept with two of your friends in the past? Yeah, you're untouchable still. So you won't go near me? Nope. It's not happening, bro. It's just not happening. You've already been touched by my brothers. My, my brothers. It's not happening, bro. Really? Nope. Che, he come with all the side effects. He, he, that's not the side effects. He come with all the sound effects, bro. He's glitching. Because you slept with two, my brothers. He's glitching. The game is glitching, bro. Really in love. I said, what's good, G? In love. Yeah. We're out of love. <laughs> two, my Two. Not one, not two, but it's awesome. Nah. They're going to be number three. Huh? Me, number three? Yeah, love. <laughs> nah, it's not happening. What would you do if I didn't want to sleep with you for the first six months of our relationship? 
Um, why would you do why that? Why wouldn't you want to sleep with me? Bro? That's what, oh my god, bro. W him. W him. I right, bro, I swear to god, listen, bro. I never seen this video before. That's literally what I would have said though. Like, why would you even do that? Why would you purposely wait six months? I mean, we know why. We know why women do that. They don't want you to look at them as easy or they don't want you to see them like that. We know why they do that, right? We know why they make guys wait on purpose. But for her to ask that like that, she gotta get asked back. Why would you why would you specifically even have a timeline set up in your head that I'm just some different guy on that sixth month. And when do you start counting the six months? The first day I text I text you? The first day we start going out? Like, what are you talking about, yo? Like, that's not even, like, that shit just doesn't even make sense. Like you said, do you like it's like a big commitment? And mm. it's a big deal. And I think, firstly, energy exchange is real. Yeah. And I, I really pride myself with who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. So I would feel disrespect if I step with you at so easy in the sense that it's just I, I'm a big deal mm -hmm. to me does yeah, that make sense no, so I'm why definitely. should I give you myself so freely that's actually you know? I'm not trying to hear that bullshit I don't a whole lot of nothing a whole lot of nothing no, because I like I pride myself, and you know what I'm saying. Like, so you got a six months, six months though. Why did your why? What makes you so different that from hitting me, let me hit on the on the first week to six months? Let's say you really like me. Let's say you feel like when you first met me, we just was gonna be married. You was love at first sight, best friends for life. We just had the best vibe ever. Talking about six months. What if I die in four, bro? You don't know. Okay. In fact, man actually agrees with that still. I can't even lie. Like, I'm not even coming to stunt because it's true. Like, man needs to smash, boy. What? Six months? Boy, oh boy. Blood, let me just hydrate myself. Ooh. And as you well, like when you're that. dating someone, like it takes a while before you have an exclusive. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'd rather just make that decision, take the time before really like, realizing, like, thousand. actually, he's a nice guy. I will sleep with him or whatever because I think. Six months to figure out I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Jay, it don't even, like, you just can't make six months make sense to me. You literally can't, bro. You literally can't make six months make sense to me, bro. You can't. You can't. Six months to figure out whether I'm a nice guy or not. What the fuck are we doing? Meeting once a week? Once a year? What do we do? We meet once, a, once every f blue moon or something? Like, what are we talking about? Six months? Six months. On purpose, though. Six months on purpose. Chat, we're not talking about, like, six months of, like, like I'm on vacation, and then I, like, start managing my business, and I just end up being too... Like, if the six months pass, and, like, let's say I'm in the army, or who, who knows? Like, if the six months that happened from six months, she's talking about six months on purpose. Like, she plans to make it in six months. Marketing on her calendar on the six months he can fuck today. That's weird. That shit is literally weird, bro. It's literally weird. You could be dating mom. Her body, her choice. That's the bottom line. It's her body, her choice. But it's weird because like you're you're you putting a date on yourself. Which one is more devaluing? Having the freedom to do having the freedom to do what you want, or putting a date on yourself uh, like expiration date a sort of life expectancy if you must i'm worth six months or i'm uh, come on bro that shit is weird for women be having sex with them mm. like energy exchanges things so you're going to sleep with her on monday sleep with me on tuesday or whatever like are yeah. you craig david no i date to marry innit? i don't just date for yeah no i date with intention there you go that's another one Trust me. The vibes there, the vibes there. So I'm not saying oh, I'm a complete angel, but yeah. with my intention when I'm dating, it's for marriage and exactly. that. God, what's the point? Like, bear man just be dating for no reason and that like, just allowing bear people to say, yeah, hey, I might have slept with this girl and uh, he's my ex and he No, nah, it's dead. What would you do if I wanted to involve other people in our sex life? He said, why is it so one-sided? What if the guy wanted to wait one year? What is, why is she the prize when the relationship goes both ways? Well, because... It, it, it's not one. It's not it really not one side. It's just that most men never say no to sex. 
Like, a lot of niggas have never told a girl no. I tell girls no all the time. And that's not even, like, on some ego shit. But that's, like, let's say she trying to, like, force you to link with her. Or, like, let's go do this. Like, no, I'm too busy. I can't. I can't see you. Or something came up. Or you, like, I mean, like, but listen, guys get guilted for saying no to women. Oh, you must be gay. You must be this. How about I just didn't want to fuck? Or how about I want to protect my body? Right? I just don't take everything that's offered to me. Right? How about that? How about that? I don't want her. You you just automatically gay when you say no to a girl, bro. So that's that's a, a, the double standard in that. A girl saying no is power. A man saying no is, is weakness. When we talk about sexual energy. You know what I'm saying? You know, swinging, prisons. I won't put this out there. Man's never had a threesome. Would you so want one like, or not? Definitely. See, no, man's on that store. Yeah. yeah. Why would you like one? Because it's like, why not? Like, threesome, man. man's never done it, innit? So oh, it's like, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two gal and that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, meet in the middle, into the one at Lidl, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Meet in the middle, meeting at Lidl? No. <laughs> <laughs> did you say that? No, I said the lyric. What's it? Um, uh, meet in the middle, into the one uh, at Lidl. Whose song is that again? There we go. Fisherman. Yeah, that's it. What do you make feel like the man? Yeah, man. yeah, it made me feel like <coughs> accomplished. Like, yeah, it might have a free something. Like, I want to see, like, it's not a that energy. Yeah, but it would just make me feel like, yeah, yeah, ticking like. that. It's just one of them things as a guy. Or, or that too, that too. If, if, if you're saying no to her, good point. If you're saying no to her, she's going to assume you're fucking other women. But if she said no to you, you just supposed to assume she's, like, not giving her her body easily. And I'm telling you. Now this is this is not. I'm saying everybody assumes this, and everybody is supposed to think this. Let's just be real to this to, to the norms of society and how we think as a collective. That's yeah, shit, bro. It's like you want you want to just experience, isn't it? Like, do you know what I mean? If someone cheated, would you ever take them back? No, my dickhead blood. Mm. I'm not, no, in fact, sorry, <clears throat> my dickhead blood. That's a matter. Well, what if it was like we were no. going yeah. in ten no. years of a marriage no. and. No. No. Nope. Really? No. Nope. But you don't think sometimes marriage could be like a like there's a compromise where you think I ain't gonna lie, a lot of girls took me back after cheating. But they they stronger than me because I'm not tired. I'm listen, what? Never. You're done. He can keep you. You must like it over there, stay over there, sis. You're not coming back. You're done. You're done. It's no coming back. It's no coming back. It's no coming back. You know what? Done up. They stronger like than Daisy me. And but you can help me find the tosses that I give. No. Really? <laughs> no, I don't care. Do you have any fetishes? Man likes strong calves in that. Oh, that's me gone. <laughs> oh, swear. Don't worry, you can go to the gym in that. Okay. I'm going to build up your calves in that, so I'll be your PT. But yeah, I like calves. Like, you see when you're, like, you see what, you're wearing heels now, yeah? And then like the girls are walking at that, yeah? And then the calves are just... <laughs> What's that impression of a the, woman? No, like, just walk, the strutting and that, yeah. So and the calves are bare, just doing... Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> like, it's just... Mm, do you know what I mean? So, pre, pre eight yeah, or nine? Pre eight or nine? Oh, it's difficult. Cause what like, the question? Who's been your best date? Okay. Oh, it's difficult. Because I kind of feel like each date gave me something different. That was a very political answer. <laughs> and it's, it's between two people. Chris, mm -hmm. because he gave me the substance, but then so did Ty. Okay, so it's between yeah. them two. Yeah. And what, how do I compare? Yeah, you're doing all right. I'm doing all right. Yeah. Mm. Pre eight or so nine? Is man's not giving you. Told y'all that nigga named Ty. He just don't fucking lose. I mean, man's not giving you the whole package just yet because I'll we'll see you the next day. What do you think I'm gonna rate you out of ten today? I like to see like eight or nine. I'm good. A strong 8.6 reoccurring. Doing all right. Reoccurring. What's the, what's the verdict? I'm not giving it to you. Oh, you're not going to tell me? No. Or oh, you're going to save that for the next day as well? Yeah. Wow. Oh, next day, yeah. yeah. Okay, say so nothing. That's crazy stuff. The date went really well. I'm not going to lie. Good. You know what, mate? I think the date was fantastic. You know what I mean? Um, got a good gist of her. You know what I mean? Um, got a good mindset on her. Got a good pair of um, brain cells. He ticks a lot of boxes and he was like, what, six foot five? Yeah, I think she likes me still. 
Yeah, I think I think I'm going to see him again. Looking forward to the second date. Not going to lie to you. He dressed well. He's tall. He had good chat. He had a very good balance. However, he didn't make me laugh as much as I wanted. I'd say she give me an 8.6 reoccurring, but you know, I mean, let's give or take like. 0.7 of a day. She might go for a nine. You know, she might go for a nine. Yeah, that should be calm still. He thinks he's gonna get an 8.6. Don't know about that one. Obviously, if you don't like man now, then you get me, then it's just burn that girl, you get me, Ruby. Man's got bear yelling at her eh, 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 rascal anyway, yeah? You get me? <laughs> I'm not even trying to play mind games. I think I'm gonna give him an 8.5. Not six. <laughs> 8.5. She gave Todd 8.7. Todd's are on top. It's something about, yo, if you want your son to be smooth, if you want your son to catch endless W's with women, name your son Todd, bro. If you haven't learned anything from me, bro, put Ty in his name. It gotta start with Ty. It can't end with Ty. It, it gotta be Ty something, bro. I'm trying to tell niggas, bro. That we just undefeated. The highest rate is a tie. I'm telling you, we everywhere, bro. <laughs> we everywhere. But listen, YouTube, that's the end of the video, man. Dojo to the moon to Saturn. And we leaving the solar system. The limps won't even know we exist. Baby. And I'm going to end the stream, too. So I love y'all, boys. Y'all make sure you have a good night, man. I'm going to let y'all.